I think that we should normalize letting bugs live inside. I think we should normalize when the weather gets too hot or too cold that we open up our doors to bugs. Let me explain that a little bit more. I think that because I have issues. But but on a realer note, but on a real <laughs> think about it. Before you judge me, you're already judging. There's no okay. Bugs, like bugs, they live outside. And we live inside, but technically we live outside because we just live in houses that are inside, but the house but the houses, the houses are still outside. So do we live outside? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Should we let bugs inside the house? And will I let some bugs inside my house today? Yes, for sure. I'm yeah. So anyways, starting the video uh, outside. Uh, starting the video outside today, uh, because one, I'm gonna find some bugs to bring inside, and <laughs> two, <laughs> two, because I'm stealing this pot. Basically, let me tell you guys a little story time about this plant. It's a coffee bean plant, and I have two but one lives inside. And the reason why this one's outside, because I had to repot this, so I went and got some potting soil from outside, but it was in a bucket. And so I potted it, and then later I, I found snails on it, and it was in my room. And I know you're like, I thought you said bring bugs inside. Bring bugs inside consensually. These bugs came inside unconsensually. I didn't want them in my house, and it was scary. It was so scary. Okay, let me tell you the story time of when I found snails on this plant in my room. So I was just looking at my plants. I do this thing where I like go up to my plants and I pet them and like sweet talk them. I'm not joking. Uh, it's therapy. It really is therapeutic. Like I need to start talking to myself the way I talk to my plants. Like you're so cute. Such a sweet girl. So pretty. I feel weirdly better right now. I'm doing my daily looking at them and petting them. Also it was like 3 a.m. in the middle of the night. And then I'm looking at this plant and I'm like what is that? see something say something and so I'm looking at it and I realized it was a snail and then I keep looking and I realize there's a ton of snails and well okay there was like four and so instantly a panic kind of ensued and so I went and woke up somebody and I was like yeah and I was like please help me look at all of my plants I'm like there's snails all over all my plants because that's how my brain and anxiety works I go to the extreme instantly to everybody else whose anxiety does that to them, uh, I'm sorry. It's like, it's hard. <laughs> Why does it do that? So instantly I'm like my entire, all of my plants are have snails all over them. There's snails everywhere in my room. There's an infestation to the extreme right away. So I make someone come in and we look through my room. Don't worry you guys, there was only snails on this one because I had repotted it with soil that was exposed to outside. Anyways, I guess that was a little story time. So now uh, this lives outside and it's like doubled in size. It's so happy living outside. But I want the pot back and I'm gonna put it in a planter pot because I wanna plant one of my other plants in here. So. I just saw the wasp fly by. Should I bring that one inside? Cause I will. There we go. Don't worry, I'm gonna deep clean this. I'm not bringing a snail inside. I literally just scrubbed this for like 10 minutes with soap and water. Everything that could have been in it is killed. Okay, let's put this in here. I was given a clipping. Also, what you can't see is I'm doing this over a bowl, so it's all good. <laughs> yup. Nice. Craft time. Also, I'm literally still in my night shirt, which is actually a little boy's shirt. I just don't like changing when I get up. Which is like, I'll wear this. As long as I can. Anyways, craft time. I have this pot, but I don't like the like gray lines. So we're gonna we're gonna do something about that. I have green paint and I'm just gonna straight up like dip it in. <laughs> Wait, oh my goodness, it looks so cool. Okay, let's let it dry. It's me from the future. Look how cute. Look how cute. Look how cute it turned. Okay, I can't get it all the way, but look how cute it turned out. Literally so cute. I got a plant in there. The last thing in the plant department, and then we'll move on to getting a bug from outside, is I have this plant. It got root rot. It still has a little node. I can do it hydroponically. So I was like, okay, I know the perfect thing to put it in. And it's going to be this Monster Energy Drink can. Because why not? <laughs> why not? So, you know, I cut it, but let's look at the rims. 
Let's look at the Jags. Let's look at how one wrong move, I'm gonna cut myself, I'm in the ER, I'm getting stitches, I'm crying because the idea of getting stitches terrifies me. So I'm gonna go get some tape and put it around the edges so if I do touch it, that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find any tape, so I'm just gonna have to remember to, to be a little careful. Uh, in, a, in the car alone, basically my sister needed to go do something and she was like do you want to come and i was like no and she was like we could get slurpees and i said let me put my shoes on so now <laughs> now we're at her activity what she needs to do so anyways i'm just sitting here in the car and i was just like yeah just park me in like the shade or whatever i think she's mad at me i think she's mad at me okay i'll tell you what fear i have right now for no reason I have this fear that her car like for some reason a car her car alarm is gonna go off and She's inside and, and, and is gonna be inside for like 10 minutes And I have a fear her car alarms gonna start going off and I'm not gonna know how to turn it off because I don't know how to turn it off That's an irrational fear. I have right now. Why? I don't know. Anyways, that's something I'm dealing with right now. The irrational fear I just made up. The person that was in the car next to us just got in their car and saw me just filming away in here. Sometimes I forget not everybody has a YouTube channel. And I forget that a lot because I ask people sometimes to like make, I like room tour videos. Those are my favorite videos. So sometimes I ask people, I'm like, film me a room tour video. I want to see a room. And they're like, no. It, because it, it's like... I forget not everybody's comfortable in front of a camera. This is a little bit creepy, but I'm gonna say it because I think a lot of us probably think it. There's so many people I know, but like don't know well enough, but I'm like, I would love to see a room tour. I would love to see your room because I feel like you have a cool room. I'd love to know more about you. Is that creepy? Am I? Well, you know, anyways. She just texted me from inside and said it's gonna be 10 more minutes, so I'm gonna make myself comfortable. I'm gonna move to the back. Um. I have to pee. Do you think she'll care if I like pee somewhere in this car? Do you think she'll notice? Okay, we're gonna be pranking my sister. Well, no, social experiment. It's a social experiment. I'm gonna pee in the back of my sister's car. Do we think she'll notice when she comes in and how long? How? <laughs> I'm not gonna actually do that. I think you guys know that. I'm not built like that and I know other people aren't built like it either. The only places I can pee are literally the toilet. I can't just like pee. I'm pee shy and I can't pee in front of people or on people. I just like, I can all... <laughs> hey guys, sitting in the back seat. I don't know what else to talk about other than the fact that I'm currently in the back seat. I just remembered something I wanted to tell you guys. I chew up the inside of my mouth. Like I bite the shit out of the inside of my mouth. Always have. Uh, is it an anxiety thing? Maybe a little bit, but it's also I just like doing it. And my mouth right now is so chewed up, not because I'm anxious or anything, but because like my, this is so gross, but it's been hitting different. I just, I actually, like, it's a fun hobby of mine. Let me be honest, it's a hobby of mine. It's a fun hobby of mine. Chewing up the skin on the inside of my mouth is a fun hobby for me. So, I'm not gonna apologize for my hobbies. It's a hobby. It is a hobby, and what I do in my free time is nobody's business but my own. And chewing up the inside of my mouth is what I do in my free time, so. Um, just an update. I've been in the car for about three hours. No, but it's it's felt like that. It's been like it's been like it's been like it's been like 20 minutes like 15 20 minutes But it feels like three hours So everybody keep me in their thoughts. Um, it's getting hot life is crazy I'm back home. I forgot to show you but I did get a slurpee. I drank it and look at me now I'm freezing. I was just burning up hot in that car and now I'm literally so cold I wish I was back in that car. You can never be you're never you're never like happy with the climate you're in Like if you're too hot, you're too hot. If you're too cold, you're too cold. Do you get what I mean? Like typically when I'm super hot, I'm like I think gosh, I, I miss the snow I wish it was snowing and then when the snows here, I'm like I hate this so much. I miss summer you never enjoy the climates when you have them, but when you want them, you ri you never know you love it till you let her go, and I love her go. It kind of reminds me of that song, but with the weather. Anyways, it's dinner time. However, first things first, let's let's oh let's get some bugs inside and i actually thought this through because i was like how am i gonna do this because in my head i was gonna go outside and like kidnap a bug and bring it inside but then i realized it was kidnapping bug napping and okay anybody else i spent my entire childhood being terrified of being kidnapped like literally for like okay i know i'm off topic for like years every last one of my dreams was me running away from a kidnapper because i was so scared of being kidnapped 
Anybody else? Anyways, I realized that's me taking a bug. That's like, that's not consensual. It's not asking the bug to come inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open one of the windows in my room and if a bug's bug or bugs wanna come inside, they're welcome. So let's go do that. The screen's right here. This is open. It's open. So it's open and I'm just going to leave it open for who knows how long. Also, I want to bring it up because I don't know if I've ever said this, but like five minutes ago, which is crazy, but it was at the beginning of quarantine, I had a wasp in my room. Somehow a wasp ended up in my room and I coexisted with the wasp in my room for like a week uh, because I was too scared to go near it. It did its stuff over here. It liked my plants and I did my stuff on the other side of my room and we kind of coexisted until one day I didn't hear the wasp I realized that I didn't hear its little noises because I always heard it and I was like oh my gosh did it die and I got really scared long story short I know wasp like water and I have a lot of hydroponic plants and so I started looking in them and I it, it was in the water of like about just drowned and I saved it and put it outside I'm, I'm used to coexisting with it, with bugs so okay it's been like an hour because I was eating I was watching some videos with this open, so I think it's fair to say bugs came in. I don't see any yet, but I'm sure they're just getting used to their surroundings. They're, they're getting their bearings, and hopefully they will feel safe enough to come out and start hanging around me. Uh, I deadass just love bugs in my room. Like, there's no way a bug didn't come in. What if a squirrel came in? That would be cool. I would love a pet squirrel. I wish squirrels were domesticated. And I know you're like, oh, there's some domesticated squirrels. I don't, okay, I, I'm just saying this. I, I actually don't know anything logistically about it, but I feel like there's no way squirrels are like domesticated like ethically, right? I don't know. So I'm like, no, I can't have a pet squirrel, but I would love one. I would love one. So I let bugs inside. <laughs> and how am I feeling? I'm feeling like I should have thought this through a little bit more because <laughs> I really like, I was just joking around. Um, you guys know, um, you guys know I joke on this channel. I'm just, I pick up the camera and I'm just, I just joke around. Now this joke has real life consequences and that is bugs now, now in my room. Now of course there are bugs in my room. I know bugs are in my room. So if anything, this is exposure therapy, but I'm not scared of bugs, but I am scared of bugs. So I'm getting kind of itchy. I just, I'm getting itchy. I just feel like there's bugs everywhere. If there's one thing in this world I can promise you guys, it's that these vlogs will never make sense. So we've reached the end of this one. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I had fun hanging out with you guys. Subscribe if you want to hang out again. <laughs> what do I seem so sad? I'm like, subs wait, what's with the camera? There we go. A little brighter. Uh, subscribe if you want to hang out again. And I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys so much. Bye.